Welcome back, everybody. A lot to talk about right now. First, take a look at this picture from the city of Winston-Salem Police. It's in the 4000 block of High Point Road, and it's completely flooded. They want you to use Union Cross uh, to get around this for a detour. But this is one of so many roads that look like this right now across the Piedmont Triad, and you have to make sure that you just be careful out there today. You never know how deep these uh, water spots are on the roads, how deep those puddles, as we call them, go, but really they could be very detrimental. And uh, so turn around, don't drown. That's the saying that we like to go by because it's, it's very intense out there. In fact, I want you to take a look at some of these rainfall totals over the last 24 hours. If you take a look with me up in Summerfield, I mean, you're close to three and a half inches and that transitions down into Forsyth County too. Uh, you can see near I-40 close to just over three inches there and then down in Davidson County, really a nice line of amounts up to three inches or more of rain. And then as we transition into High Point, almost two inches and an inch and a half over in Greensboro. So really, really heavy amounts of rainfall and it's still coming down. You can see that here on radar, even some thunder pocketing up right here in some of our western counties. So luckily the storms are non severe today, but my big concern are these flash flood warnings we have in place. And the first warning is right up here in Rockingham and Caswell counties until two o'clock today. As we transition down though, did want to show you that in Guilford County, this is in effect until 1245, so through your lunch hour. And then we've got another one here, a flash flood warning uh, right here. It was just in Forsyth County that expired seconds ago in Forsyth County, but still going over into Guilford County until 115. So different parts of every county are impacted by those warnings, but everybody in green here is under the flash flood watch and that's until Friday at 8 a.m. So tomorrow morning is when that expires and we really have been watching that flooding. In fact, I want to show you where some of the heaviest rainfall is right now and you can see in parts of Randolph County near 220 and 73 this afternoon and then down in Davidson County near I 85. Now, even though Yadkin County right up here looks pretty good right now, it's fairly clear. The Yadkin River did have some flooding issues and there's some light spotty showers up in Forsyth County, uh, but really you can see in Caswell County just south of Yanceyville and over Anderson. That's where some of those heavier showers are for the moment. Again, though, our severe outlook has us at risk for just general thunderstorms today, so nothing severe. The severe threats further to the north of us, and that's great because that means winds will stand down and not be quite as heavy. The reason that's so helpful is when you take a look behind me at these five day Doppler estimates, which by the way can be a little overdone at times, but it'll indicate to you that we've already seen over the last five days in Davidson County, just over five inches of rain near 52, just north of Lexington and then up in Forsyth County. This is very impressive over seven inches of rain on the northwestern side there. So what that indicates to me is when you have these heavy winds coming through and rainfall totals like this, you're going to see a lot of trees start to fall. You're going to see a lot of power outages. We've already seen a lot of power outages outages and damage to property such as houses and cars. As we zoom in further though, do want to show you that over in Wilkes County, close to six and a half inches or right at six and a half inches have fallen and then up in Elkin over seven inches of rain have fallen there. Now transitioning down to Greensboro right here in Guilford County, uh, just over four and a half inches in some spots and down toward Pleasant Garden over five inches of rain. We're going to get more rain and so that's why I want to give you some of these tips to avoid rainfall dangers. As I mentioned, turn around, don't drown. Sometimes it's very hard to see how deep that water can get and you get a little confident you want to drive through it. It's not smart. It's not smart. It can cause big problems. Ro water on the roads is usually deeper than we think and you also don't want to walk in flooded areas. A lot of you have messaged me about that and I'll tell you why there could be down power lines and you get electrocuted. It's very dangerous to walk in those flooded areas. You just don't want to do it. Take a look at High Point. We're very cloudy out there right now and today's high is going to be 82, but we're still going to see that rain get heavy at times with a few thunderstorms overnight tonight. We're at 70 degrees. The showers and storms continue now over the next five days. The rain will start to taper off by Friday. The chances are still high, but you'll see peaks of sunshine at times. But guys, one thing I want to mention with the temperatures being in the 80s and 90s, it's obviously humid, but the flooding is our biggest concern. And we as a weather team just want you to know that we're not only available on air, we're available by the weather app. You can follow radar there, Twitter, Facebook. When we're off the shows, we're on Facebook Live. We want to be connected with you and make you feel as safe as we can. So please reach out any way we can help. It's we will. about information and, you know, it's different for every community and that's mm -hmm. why people get in touch with Absolutely. you and that's, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's more than just being on for the show. We want to make sure all day that you feel safe and, and connected to know where you can and can't go. Get your questions yeah. answered. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, thanks. Sure.